Mountain News, first at four, continues. Governor Andy Bashir is asking Kentuckians to continue helping folks in Western Kentucky. Chelsea Jones tells us one thing you can do to help. Well, Governor Andy Bashir is commending the efforts of people coming together to help this state rebuild. He's now asking people to donate blood for families impacted by recent tornadoes. My faith tells me we are our brother and sister's keeper, and this is just one way to show it. Bashir said hospitals were already facing a blood shortage before the tornadoes. The extensive devastation putting even more strain on limited resources. Uh, right after the tornadoes, we were forced to ship emergency blood supplies, and we shipped about 200 blood products uh, to the affected areas. This afternoon, the American Red Cross held a blood drive in the Capitol Rotunda. As hundreds in western Kentucky try to rebuild, Bashir said people can give back by donating blood. He himself rolling up his sleeve along with Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman. And so my job is to be as strong as I can for others while trying to show enough vulnerability to say it's okay. It's okay to feel grief and, and, and resiliency all in a matter of seconds. Bashir said at least 77 Kentuckians were killed during the storms. One person from Hopskinfield County is still missing. As search and rescue teams move out, law enforcement agencies move in targeting looters. Bashir urged companies to invest in the area by creating jobs. He said the state has raised more than $18 million through donations. In Lexington, Chelsea Jones, WKYT. Governor Bashir's office tells us about 183 Kentuckians were injured during the tornado outbreak. As part of Gray Television's partnership with the Salvation Army, WIMT is helping raise funds for those impacted by the deadly storm system that hurt so many folks in Kentucky and the nation's heartland. When you support the Salvation Army Disaster Services, 100% of your donation is applied to the disaster survivors in those communities. You can text HL Tornado to 51555 to make a donation to the Salvation Army. We have more information on WYMT.com. The CEO of a parent company, Gray Television, presented a generous donation to the Salvation Army today. Hilton Howell is donating $100,000 for today's initiative. In most places, it's being called Hill the Heartland. Here, it's being called Kentucky Rises. And again, this is happening across great television stations in the country today. The Salvation Army plans to use the proceeds from Hal and Gray Television to minister to victims of those tornadoes. Showers and clouds continue across the mountains into your Friday. Let's take a look at that Buffalo Mountain camera. Pretty gloomy into the work week. We are under a mostly cloudy sky and some fog starting to develop here at Slade at the Mountain Parkway with showers continuing across the area. Up on Pinpoint Doppler, passing showers pushing through the area right now from Jackson down to Hazard, also over to London. You guys getting in on some light rain. Pike County, you guys also getting in a few of those sprinkles as well. Those temperatures right now in the upper 40s to lower 50s to even lower 60s for Harlan and Middlesbrough. 54 for London, 54 also in Somerset, 48 up in Irvine. As we go throughout the rest of this evening, not going to rain all evening long, but if you are headed out, you might want to pack the rain gear just to be on the safe side. Those temperatures not really moving much over the next few hours. We stay in those middle to lower 50s under a mostly cloudy sky with passing showers possible, but we do begin to dry out by Sunday and into the next work week. I got that full forecast coming up a little bit later. Steve. All right, thank you, Cameron. Law enforcement in Pike County are responding to rumors of possible threats being called into schools on a popular social media app. According to a post from the Pikeville Police Department, they were made aware of a TikTok challenge that involved calling in bomb threats or active shooters at schools across the country. After receiving the information, Pikeville PD ensured schools in the area, along with the Pike County Sheriff's Office, were aware of it. At this time, there have been no threats, and the rumors are said to not be credible, but that has not stopped local law enforcement from taking extra precautions 
to ensure safety and peace of mind. We don't see any viable threat to this, this uh, event on TikTok, but we wanted to make sure that for peace of mind of parents, uh, dropping their kids off for the faculty, for the staff, for the kids, that it's just a normal day. They see us anyway. It's not going to be anything to make them uh, get scared to go to school. So, but we do have officers in the school, uh, stationed at school throughout the day. TikTok has also commented through social media that it has not seen any threats of violence in schools on its platform, but it would remove the content and report it to the proper authorities if needed. We'll have more on the TikTok rumors and local response coming up at 6. The White House COVID Task Force offered some stark warnings to get vaccinated and boosted as the U.S. deals with two strains that keep spreading across the nation. There's also additional advice about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. CBS's Naomi Ruckham has more from New York, where COVID outbreaks are causing cancellations. Dr. Walensky. CDC Director yeah, Rochelle Walensky says she'll endorse the recommendation of a CDC panel that Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines are preferred over Johnson & Johnson's because of rare blood clotting. But she also emphasized this point. Given the current state of the pandemic, both here and around the world, any vaccination is better than no vaccination. She says continuing research is showing vaccinations are safe for children. President Biden's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says the U.S. is facing a double threat with the still surging Delta strain and the new Omicron variant, which is now in all but a dozen U.S. states. The optimum protection is fully vaccinated plus a boost. So the bottom line of what we've been telling you all along, it is critical to get vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, it is critical for optimal protection to get boosted. This is probably our worst surge that we've seen so far. Dartmouth Hitchcock Health System in New Hampshire released a new video detailing the struggles providers are facing. I wish every unvaccinated person could see the suffering that these patients are unavoidably enduring and that just know that your healthcare workers are tired. Here in New York City, several restaurants have temporarily closed their doors because a staff member tested positive, even though vaccination is required for indoor dining. And the Rockettes are the latest New York City tradition impacted by COVID. Four shows at Radio City Music Hall have been canceled. That comes after at least nine Broadway shows canceled performances this week. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. New York. The NBA has agreed to new COVID protocols because of recent outbreaks. With the devastating losses piling up in western Kentucky, our neighbors are still working to piece together what they can. Homes and memories destroyed as those who lost everything are trying to clean up and make sense of the loss, but memories they never expected to see again are being found. One recent find has ties to eastern Kentucky when a man was reconnected with an old photo of himself with his son, thanks to a Harlem basketball shirt. We're in Western Kentucky. We both have ties to Harlan, uh, and the picture landed in somewhere close to you guys. And when my wife showed me that, I was amazed. I said, this, that can't be. I said, because it was me and, and Trey, and you know, I don't have another picture of that. Now that picture traveled from Princeton to Owensboro but tied back to Harlan, showing the families that even through a huge tragedy, there are silver linings in this small world. Much more on this incredible story coming up later tonight at 6. The Humane Society of Missouri is helping rescue animals displaced by those recent tornadoes. Staff brought in 16 dogs from Bowling Green, Kentucky to St. Louis Thursday. They'll be up for adoption there in the coming days. The society says it has one of the nation's largest animal rescue disaster response teams, so it's able to assist other states when needed. President Joe Biden delivered the commencement address at South Carolina State University today. During his time at the university, the president received an honorary doctorate from SC State. The president pushed for federal voting rights legislation, which comes as Republican states enact new restrictive voting laws following the 2020 presidential election. 
A search warrant has been issued for actor Alec Baldwin's cell phone in connection with the fatal shooting on the set of Rust. Officials want to look at Baldwin's messages, call logs, photos, videos, and private social media messages that discuss the movie production. Baldwin allegedly pulled the trigger on the gun that fatally shot Helena Hutchins during a movie scene rehearsal. According to the warrant, the armorer said she loaded six dummy rounds the morning of the shooting. She said the box of dummies may have had some wonky rounds. Coming up on First with Four, Pfizer moves to expand its reach among children, and Betty White makes big plans for her landmark birthday bash. We are staying soggy through tonight, but some sunshine is on the way by the end of your weekend. I got that full forecast coming up.